CCSD is seeking a restraining order to prevent the sick outs, and while CCEA has denied any involvement, the district says it has evidence to the contrary. A judge will hear their arguments tomorrow. The legal battle could have major impacts on contract arbitration. In the meantime, so-called work actions continue because it's illegal for teachers to strike. Members of CCEA have been refusing to work past their contracted 7-hour, 11-minute day. That means some after-school activities, which many teachers volunteer their time for or get paid a small amount, are now being canceled. Fox News' Kim Passoff is hearing from parents and students and joins us now live to explain. Yeah, so every parent and student who we spoke to say that they support what the teachers are doing. And while it might mean a disruption in classes or after school activities for now, they say that they understand why teachers need to push back. As a parent, I am really frustrated that we are six weeks into school and teachers still don't have a contract. Stephanie Valdez is a mom of three CCSD students. We spoke to her outside of Sig Rogich Middle School, one of the schools where classes were canceled on Tuesday. I don't think that teachers are calling out in any way to disrespect parents or disrespect students. I know that they know it impacts their students and their families. But honestly, the frustration needs to be directed at the district for continuing this for so long. She has firsthand knowledge as she steps into a classroom from time to time as a substitute teacher. She believes teachers deserve to be paid for their time and be paid fairly. While negotiations continue, some are no longer supervising after school activities. Some teachers are choosing not to work beyond their contracted hours because they're not getting paid for that extra time, even though they're working plenty of other extra time. They're not getting paid for that extra, extra. We also spoke to a parent at Gunderson Middle School. She tells us while sports, cheer and music are still going, other activities have been canceled, including the October dance. Her seventh grader wrote this letter to Dr. Jara in support of their orchestra teacher. Hello, sir. I'd like to state that I think these teachers should get a raise. I'd like to assume that you want a good future, right? Some of us kids want to learn. We want to do better, and we aren't able to do that if the teachers are canceling clubs, faking sick to get out of work, and after-school activities. Do any of you have a good reason on why you won't give them a 10% raise? No, I haven't heard one good reason. And we've learned that this is impacting schools across the district today. We learned at Desert Oasis High School that after school math tutoring is on hold for now. Reporting live, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.